Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about XGBoost. We will start with basics and base model. Then I will show you how you can do hyperparameter tuning for optimizing the performance of the model. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to use XGBoost for both classification and regression tasks. First things first, let's talk about gradient boosting. It's an ensemble learning method where we train weak learners and then combine them to make a strong learner. XGBoost is an optimized distributed gradient boosting library, which is both fast and accurate. Let's start by creating a simple synthetic dataset for classification. We will use the make classification function from scikit-learn for this. We will say from sklearn.datasets import make classification and we will also import train tabs split from here sklearn.model selection import train test split and we are going to import numpy as mp here so after the import we are going to set x and y we will use make classification method number of samples is going to be a thousand and we will say number of features is going to be 20 and let's also make train test split after this we will check the x and y here let's check the y also so now we can split our data as train and test we will say x train x test y train and y test we will say train test split x y and let's set the test size as 0 0.2 also we need a q sign here right there Great. We have just generated a data set with 1000 samples and 20 features. We also split the data into training and testing sets using an 80 to 20 split. 20% of the data is going to be in the test set and 80% is going to be in the training set. Now let's go ahead and create our XGBoost classifier model. We will say import XGBoost as XGBoost here, XGB, we will say classifier, we will use XGBoost.XGBoost classifier and we are going to fit this into our data. We will use the training data for this fitting operation and we will evaluate our model on the testing set. We have just fitted our XGBoost classifier on the training data. It's that simple, but what about its performance? Let's evaluate it on the test set. We will import a accuracy score from sklearn.metrics. We will import a accuracy score. We will set y predictions and we will use classifier.predict. We will predict the x test accuracy is going to be accuracy score y test and the values which we predicted with using x test here and let's print the accuracy as accuracy and I'm using an F string here so I can just say accuracy here and now here is our accuracy actually it's quite high for a random generated data set but since we have like 20 features I think it fitted well the accuracy tells us how well the model has learned to classify the data but what about regression problems can we use XGBoost for that the answer is yes. Let's create a synthetic regression dataset using make regression from scikit-learn. It's a similar process. This time I'm going to do it a little bit quicker. I'm not going to show x and y because you already know the logic of this. We will say x, y. Also set this with capital letter. I will use make regression here. Number of samples, let's say 1000 for this again. And we will say number of features is going to be equal to 20 and let's set noise here this time 0.1 noise and we will say x train x test y train y test we will use train test split we will set x y test size 0.2 similar to before we have created the data set with 1000 samples and 20 features and split it into training and testing sets. Now let's fit an XGBoost regression model on this data. We will say regression 
and it's going to be equal to XG boost dot XG boost regressor and we will say dot fed on training data here it is so here actually you are seeing the parameters that we can give we are going to do a hyperparameter tuning in this video now we have trained our XG boost regressor now let's avoid it using the root mean square error we will say from sklearn.matrix import mean squared error and we will say y pred and we are going to make our predictions with x test we have and let's set root mean squared error numpy dot square root mean squared error y test and y pred and let's also print this we are going to use an f string here root mean squared error here it is great you have seen how to use xg boost for basic classification and regression now but what if if you want to take it a step further and optimize the model performance that's where hyperparameter tuning comes in let's start by tuning the xg boost classifier but our x train x test etc is set as regression so i'm just going to go upper side and just run the make classification again and x train x testing again when you do hyperparameter tuning your model performs better but since we didn't set any random state this time maybe the accuracy falls so i'm just going to run this again and our new accuracy is 0.94 so i think we are going to get a higher score or accurate thing here with the parameter tuned version let's do that we will say from sklearn.model selection import grid search cv and we will set the parameters of the grid search we will say learning rate and let's give 0 0.01 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 here i'm not going to add a lot of values you can add for checking more parameters i will set the max depth as 3 4 and 5 then i'm going to say number of estimators and i will say 50 100 and 200 and i'm going to set the classifier as xgboost xgboost classifier once again then i'm going to say grid classifier grid search cross validation classifier parameters we set then we will say cross validation is going to be equal to let's say three and scoring is going to be the accuracy and let's fit this into our data x train and white tray here it is here we are using the grid search cross validation to search through a grid of hyperparameters we are turning the learning rate max depth and number of estimators the grid search cross validation will automatically find the best hyperparameters using threefold cross validation also we can increase these numbers for a better performance since we are not using out of numbers here maybe this performs worse than the base model it's a probability here let's say grid classifier best estimator and see the selected number of estimators is 50 max step is 4 exit learning rate is selected as 0.1 so what we will do here is we are going to set this like best classifier and we are going to set this estimator values then we are going to say y pred is going to be equal to the best classifier predict we will use x test again we will set the accuracy accuracy score y test and y pred and we are going to print it print tuned accuracy accuracy here as you can see our tuned models accuracy is displayed here 0.94 same as the base model as i said if we add more values maybe it can increase maybe it will still perform like the, in the same way with the base model it's generally a good idea to compare this with the baseline model to see if tuning has improved the performance now let's apply same hyperparameter tuning technique for regression 
I'm just going to run the regression data creation code here. I will use that. Here it is. I'm going to use this. Let's fit again and see the root mean squared error. Great. So I'm just going to use the same parameters here. We will say regressor xgboost.xgboost regressor. We are going to select that. Actually, we are not going to take that one. I can cover that one also in another video. Great. Regressor. We will say grid search cross validation. Regressor parameters grid cross validation tree. And let's set the scoring as negative mean squared error. By the way, in the accuracy, we want this value to be as high as possible because it means that our model performs better. But in the root mean squared error side, we want this value to be low as possible because that will mean that our model is performing better. I have two videos about both them, classification metrics and regression metrics on my channel. You can check them for understanding what these metrics are and how we calculate them. Great. That's the reason why I wrote like negative mean squared error. And since we set that, let's just take this like that. We are going to fit this now. Grid, regressor, that fit, x train and y train. Great. Just like before, we are using grid search cross validation to perform hyperparameter tuning on our xg boost regressor. Okay, let's evaluate this performance. Best regressor. We will use good regressor. Dot best estimator, and we will set by pred best regressor. Dot predict x test. We will say root mean squared error numpy square root mean squared error y test and y pred. And let's print this tuned root mean squared error. Root mean squared error. Also, I made a typo there. Let's delete it quickly. Okay, in the regression side, this time we have a difference. It's 35 in here and it's 59 in here. And remember that I run this with the new regression data and it's an improvement as you can see. We tuned its parameters. Here we have calculated the root mean squared for our tuned regression model. And that was all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm creating content about data science and programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.